Hey guys, I'm Mike and this time I bring you the final version of my hotfix for AMD slash Intel switchable graphics. I'm going to explain the basics so that you guys don't have to go and see the other videos again. First, how does it work? You open your game, you wait a little bit and you open the hotfix. If you open them at the same time it will get an error message like this saying you are opening the game too fast, killing GTA, try again. So open your game, wait a little bit, open the hotfix. Also um, it may not be needed but remember to launch the hotfix as an administrator. Okay, the game is running and you can just go ahead, close the patch press any key and play that's it so now you can play your game and enjoy it as you should uh, using your mains graphic card it's about perfect the um, complete settings I'm using with my graphics cards Even though it's using a bit more memory, it runs perfectly. So, now some questions, some troubleshooting, just in case it didn't work. Um, it does work on Steam. It does work on non-Steam also. No, it doesn't get you banned. It doesn't patch the game. Um, literally, it just skips some memory blocks ahead. Um, make sure the game is running on high performance. And I mean, come here. Configure switchable graphics and make sure GTA is on high performance. Also make sure to use the latest beta um, drivers available in AMD website. Okay, now if it's not working, first thing you should do is go to your documents, Rockstar Games, GTA 5 folder, open settings.xml with notepad or whatever you're using search for a value called DX version and put this value to 0 try again doesn't work put it to 1 and try again if it still doesn't work go to your hotfix folder open options config file with notepad once again there's no need to change the exception or count mode if you are using mode 0 or 1 Please refer to the troubleshooting video I made before. The exception value should always stay the same. And the count, as I said before, go to my troubleshooting video. Only if you are using mode 0 or 1. Otherwise, don't change those values. Um, the default value is number 2. And it should work, as I said, to 99% of the graphic cards. If for some reason it is not working, try with mode equal 3. Um, you just come here, change from 2 to 3 and save. One of those will surely work. Now, I had the opportunity to test this game with a lot of different graphics cards and I would like to thank everyone who allowed me to do it. And one of the biggest problem was this card, it is also fixed. So please enjoy. Also, a note, some users reported that reinstalling the game may help, because I have no idea, but it was not working before, they reinstalled the game and it works with the outfix, so it's a matter of trying. I spent a lot of hours working on this, and this is for you guys. So please consider buying me a beer and enjoy playing your GTA 5. See you next time.